Hey, what's going on, guys? Then my year for simple snippets. Welcome back to another video tutorial on data structures and algorithms. Let's quickly continue with our graph implementation topic, and this probably will be the last video in the graph implementation topic of this DSA playlist. Probably there will be more videos in the graph implementation later on, depending upon if I decide to add new functions or if you guys request any new functions. But considering the standard operations so far, if you followed this DSA playlist. and if you followed the graph topic we've pretty much covered every other graph oper operation previously in this playlist in case if you've missed that please check out this graph topic in this dsa playlist in this proper sequence only then you'll understand every topic in detail because we are covering one function at a time and we are developing our own user defined c++ code implementation of the graph data structure right so that's why we went step by step each function at a time in one single video covering both theory then the behind the scenes step by step dry running and working with diagram and then converting that same pseudo code into c++ code okay so in this video we are going to cover print neighbors of a vertex operation which means that given a particular vertex you want to print all the other vertices that are connected to it that's the whole crux of this video let's get started with understanding this operation So on the right hand side we have our graph example this is what we've been using throughout this tutorials and throughout this graph topic and let's assume that we have three vertices which are all connected to each other so visually this is how it would look like and in the memory this is how our structure is looking like we are using the adjacency list concept and this graph object is holding all these vertices inside the vector vertices so vertices is the name of our vector we're using vector because we're using c++ programming language in case if you're using java a similar data structure in java would be the array list right and a vector is a stl object stl uh, class which basically helps us create a array which is dynamic in nature so this is just for simplicity purpose and then it provides us with other functions also and we've seen that throughout these tutorials so i'm not uh, you know going to go individually with with that but coming back to our graph in this video what we want is we will enter the id of a particular vertex in our case it would be a state id and uh, we will fetch all the neighbors so if i enter 1 what i want is this output i want maharashtra to be printed then a arrow and then its neighbors that is all the other vertices that are connected with their individual weights So two comma hundred is nothing but Goa, and it is the weight. So over here it is five hundred, so it would be five hundred over here. Similarly, three comma two hundred would be nothing but MP, and the distance between Maharashtra and MP, which is seven hundred over here, so it would be seven hundred over here. So basically, what I want is this kind of output onto the command prompt. Okay. So this function is a standard function which retrieves all the possible neighbors of a particular vertex in a graph, and all the possible neighbors are all the immediate vertices that are directly connected to that particular vertex okay so that's a neighbor we already talked about these graph terms in the theory of graph you guys can check it out but now let's come to the pseudo code and we will dry run this step by step before we jump to the c++ code id okay so our function name as you can see is print all neighbors by id basically you just take the vid of the particular vertex let's say we pass 1 over here so vid equals to 1 let's go inside the function let's see how it goes if you've seen the print graph function this is pretty much the same thing because we are going to traverse through this entire vector so first thing we will say print get vertex by id we will pass 1 over here vid dot get state name so the first thing that gets printed let's do the output over here let me draw output box let's say this is our command prompt okay let's say this is the command prompt the first thing that we do is we say get vertex by id and get vertex by id is another function which basically gets the vertex of whatever id you pass so when you are passing one it will go through this vertices vector step by step that is one vertex at a time and check its individual ids and whatever id you pass it will match it so if you pass one it will match with this one and then you say dot get state name it will return the state name so it will return mh correct so you will get mh 
So the first thing that you print. So we are printing this. So step number one, we are printing. We want this as the output, right? When the user enters one, this is what we want the output. So first thing we got MH. So let's print MH. We got MH. Then we say plus and we concatenate a circular bracket onto the command prompt. So this is what is shown in the green. Then we again say plus get vertex by ID dot get state ID. So again, we pass one over here and state ID. So what is the state ID of MH? It is one only. So one will be retrieved and then we do a closing bracket, right? You say plus closing bracket and you do this arrow, right? Okay. So this is step number one. We got half or some part of our output that we want. We got this much. Now the second part, what we want is of course, all the neighbors of that vertex, right? How do you get the neighbors of this vertex? You can see that every vertex has its own edge list. And what is edge list? Edge list is nothing but a list of edges that are coming to this particular vertex. And that is exactly what we want, right? The edge list will give us the different edges that are coming to that vertex or going from that vertex. Since this is an undirectional graph, uh, this direction is in both ways. But basically each object is nothing but a connection, right? So this is exactly what we want to print because this will give us the neighbors of this particular vertex. So now in the step two, this is where we are going to loop. The first outer loop is going to loop through the individual vertices. So basically we will go from this vertex to this vertex to this vertex to match this VID again. Okay. This is the outer loop. So we will go from zero to vertices dot size. What is the size of this vertices vector? Currently it is three because it is holding three vertexes. So from zero to two, we will iterate, right? Inside that we will say if vertices dot at I, so I is nothing but the iterator. It will take zero, one and two values. So currently we are at zero. We will say if vertices dot zero dot get state ID, what is the state ID at zero? It is one. Is it equal equal to the VID that we passed? We have passed VID as one. Is it equal to one? Yes. So in that case, we will go inside the if block and now we will again print this opening square bracket. So first thing we will print this. The next thing is we have to do one more loop and this loop is basically for iterating inside this edge list. So we are currently at our vertex that we want and now we want to print its edge list, right? So we'll say it vertices at i, i is still zero because the first we are still in the outer first loop, right? So I is still zero. So vertices at zero is nothing but this particular vertex. We say dot edge list dot begin to vertices at zero dot edge list dot end. So edge list is this green box inside that we have edge objects. So we are beginning from the first edge object and we will go till the end of this edge list, which is this second edge object. So this it is nothing but the iterator variable inside this inner loop. So it equals to vertices dot at zero dot edge list dot begin. So we are going to start from the first edge object inside this edge list and that is going to be pointed by it, right? We are saying it dot get destination vertex id. So when the it is first pointing to the very first edge object, basically it is pointing to this object first. And when you are saying get destination vertex id, Inside this edge object, the destination vertex ID is two. So you'll print two over here. Then you say plus and this opening round bracket. We say it dot get weight. It is still pointing to this edge object. We are saying get weight, which is 500 over here. So you'll say 500. Then you say plus close bracket and then the arrow. And then this for loop ends. You again come at the start of the for loop. And now it will start pointing to the next edge object. So the next edge object will be printed, which is three comma seven hundred. So again, we will say three opening bracket. So three will be printed over here, then opening bracket, then the weight, which is seven hundred, right? So seven hundred will be printed closing bracket and then the arrow. And now once the it iterates through these two objects, so edge list dot begin to end, this loop will stop. You'll come outside this loop and you'll lastly print out one more closing bracket square bracket will be printed over here and then you come at the start of the loop. Now over here you can put a break statement right after this 2.1.3 over here if you write a break statement in the code 
it will break out and you don't have to loop through all the other vertices once the match is found. So this is the entire pseudocode for print neighbor of a vertex operation. And this operation is used to figure out who are the immediate neighbors of particular vertices in a graph. Okay. I hope you've understood the working and behind the scenes of how we got this output. And now let's test this pseudocode in the C++ code format and jump to our C++ ID. Okay, so this is our graph code that we've been doing so far. And if you followed throughout this tutorials, these are the first six operations that we've completely done. This is the one that we are currently doing. And this one we'll cover over here itself. I'll show you. And uh, we've done print graph also. By the way, if you don't have this code, I will share the link to this entire code in the video description from our official website. You guys can copy paste the code, but I highly recommend that you type it. Uh, scrolling down, this is where option number eight is is for print all neighbors of a particular vertex. So let's first scroll up into the graph class. This is where we will type the code for printing all neighbors. So this is the function name print all neighbors by ID. You pass the ID of the particular vertex. Then you print out the first line. Then you use the for loop. Inside the for loop, you do one more for loop to iterate to the edge list, right? Okay. So I'm not going to waste time going through this code step by step. I just copy pasted this code so that we can save some time. Let's save this and scroll down to the main function inside the case number eight. This is where we do the code or call the function that is print all neighbors. You pass the ID, you take this ID from the user and then you print all its neighbors. Okay. So the seventh case is for checking if two vertices are neighbors. Now, how do you check whether two vertices are neighbors? You, you can say that two vertices are neighbors when there is an edge between them, right? So if there is an edge between two vertices in a graph, they are considered as neighbors. So in that case, remember, we already have a function, a function that we've already typed, which is check if edge exists. So this is the function that we had already typed and we've covered it previously in the previous tutorials, which checks if a edge exists between two vertices. Now you can see the return type is a Boolean value, which means that if this function returns true, it means that there is an edge between from vertex and two vertex. So these are the IDs of the two vertices that we pass. And if this is true, it means that they are neighbors, right? So we can simply use this function. So check if exist can be used directly in this case number seven. So simple code can be written for that. If else can be written, this is the code. You say enter ID of source vertex, enter ID of destination vertex. You take these two IDs and you say G dot check if exist. So this ID one, ID two and G are nothing but our own variables that we've created in the main function. You can see over here ID one, ID two and graph, right? Graph object G is nothing but graph object. And you say check if edge exists by ID and this will return either true or false that can be stored in this check variable. So on the top, you can also create a check variable. So you can say bool check and keep it false initially. Okay. And if this check becomes true, you can say vertices are neighbors because edge exists. And in the else block, you can say vertices are not neighbors, edge does not exist. Simple as that, right? So case seven is also done. So this means that we would cover even this one and this one. Okay. Now let's actually check print all neighbors function as well as this operation in this video itself. So go to execute compile and run. We've already typed all the code. Okay. We've got an error. What is that error? We missed a closing bracket. That is the error. Save, execute, compile and run. Hopefully everything should work. All right. Our code is working fine. We want to check option number seven. Check if two vertices are neighbors or not. And we also have to check print all neighbors of a particular vertice. So let's first add vertices to our graph. Option number one is for add vertex. I'll say ID one and MH. So one vertex added. Let me add other two vertices. So I'll do a print graph option nine. And there you go. You can see print graph operation. We have three vertices. Now let's check if Maharashtra and Goa are neighbors or let's first add an edge between Maharashtra and Goa. 
so addition of edge is option 4 we have already done all these other functions previously so I'll say 1 and 2 and the weight let's say is 100 okay so edge between 1 and 2 added successfully let's add a edge between 1 and 3 which is Maharashtra and MP also so option 4 ID 1 and ID 3 and let's give it 200 and now if I do print graph that is option number 9 there you go you can see there is an edge between Maharashtra and Goa and Maharashtra and MP and of course why say versa because Goa is also connected to Maharashtra MP is also connected to Maharashtra okay now let's check whether there is an edge between Goa and MP so you want to check if two vertices are neighbors let's check if Goa and MP are neighbors currently they are not connected so let's see option number 7 and enter the source id Goa's id is 2 and destination 3 MP's id is 3 when I hit enter you can see vertices are not neighbors so edge does not exist between Goa and MP which is true now let's check if Maharashtra and Goa are neighbors they are currently because you can see there is a connection between Maharashtra and Goa so again option number 7 id 1 for Maharashtra id 2 for Goa and there you go guys you can see vertices are neighbors edge exist which means 1 and 2 that is Maharashtra and Goa are neighbors which means that our code for check two vertices are neighbors is working perfectly fine now the next thing that we want to check is print all neighbors of a particular vertex so let's print all neighbors of Maharashtra Maharashtra remember is connected to Goa as well as MP so when I say option 8 it is asking which vertex you want to print all its neighbors of so it is 1 for Maharashtra and there you go you can see Maharashtra and its two neighbors printed in this proper format now this format can change you can add or you know uh, be creative with how you want to print the neighbors you can print it in a list format you can print it side by side if you don't want the weights over here you can easily remove that also if you want more arrows you can add that so that is completely on you but so far we've successfully implemented all the standard graph operations starting from add vertex till print graph all of these are covered and now we have a complete C++ implementation of graph data structure which enables user to add update delete vertices in a graph dynamically add update delete edges dynamically and do some graph operations so I'm gonna wrap up this video over here this should conclude the graph implementation topic that we've been covering so far previously in this entire playlist there might be few more functions that can be added as I said in future you'll obviously see that updated in the playlist but we can conclude that the graph data structure topic is covered both theoretically and practically with this C++ program okay so I'm gonna wrap up this video over here I hope you like this video let me know in the comments how this video was do share it with your friends check out the link in the video description for the entire code and theory of graph topic and I'll see you guys in the next one peace